What is the difference between an IGV and a VGD on a York chiller? Now, this is a question that came through over on YouTube. And uh, so York actually refers to their IGV, which is an inlet guide vein, as a PRV, that is a pre-rotation vein. They're one of the only ones I know that does that. Ultimately, it's, it's all the same thing. It's, it's when they say PRV, they're referencing their, their IGV, their inlet guide vein. Now, VGD is a variable geometry diffuser, and they have two very, very different tasks. So an IGV, which is your inlet guide, so those are going to be at the nose cone coming into the compressor off of the suction elbow. So right as you come off that elbow, into the, as you enter the compressor, before you even get to the impeller, you're going to have your uh, IGV assembly. Now, your IGV, what that is doing is it is creating a pre-swirl on the refrigerant. And depending on how much turbulence we create, it influences how much the impeller can move through it. So if we want to move less refrigerant through the impeller, then we put a really steep angle, which means we barely open it basically from, from fully closed. And that really restricts because there's so much turbulence created, how much the impeller can move. And then obviously the more we want it to flow, the more we'll open those veins up and we'll put less of that turbulence against it which makes it to where the impeller can move more and more and more. Now a VGD, a variable geometry diffuser, is going to be located in your diffuser section. So the diffuser is basically the discharge of the impeller. It is the, the gap where the, you come out of the impeller, there's this thin little chamber you go through, and then we get into the volute or the scroll housing, which is the big circular thing that we call the, the discharge line, right? So that big circular loop is your volute. And so in between that volute and the outlet of the impeller is your diffuser, okay? A little bitty gap in there. That gap is where we are able to convert uh, uh, kinetic energy or, or high velocity uh, into a static pressure as we move through the system and just how centrifugals work. So anyway, the VGD is a ring that it sits inside of that diffuser section. And we use a actuator from the control panel. Uh, so does the, the IGV. They both have actuators independent from each other, two separate actuators. But the VGD's actuator when it pivots its arm it's actually sliding a ring now this is a 360 degree full circle ring in the diffuser okay this 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 sits outside of the edge of the impeller that ring as it moves in and out is in the simplest form without getting into the the crazy science here it's a water hose you put your thumb on it so if we're dealing with a really high lift condition or we're struggling with some instability in the diffuser in the discharge section, uh, then we can close off that VGD a little bit. And essentially you take a regular water hose, you hold it up, water's just coming out like normal, but then you put your thumb over it and now that water has, is able to build some back pressure and, and it shoots out much further. You can get some distance out of it, even though it's less total volume. So you may move a little less water in total. You're able to, to apply a lot of extra pressure behind it to, to move it through. Well, essentially, in the simplest form I can try to put it, that's what your VGD is accomplishing. You're, you're restricting the dis, the uh, diffusion the discharge side a little bit and by restricting that you're causing a little bit of back pressure and you're allowing the refrigerant to um, convert better in its transition through the diffusion chamber so that we can overcome high lift conditions uh, just whatever whatever's going on at the time so that is the main purpose and function of your VGD assembly compared to your IGV and how the two are completely separate from each other. With that, I'm here at the airport doing some travel today for stuff, but uh, trying out this Q&A series, not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but this is something that has kind of been on my mind, so we're just giving it a swing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, with that, this is exactly the kind of training we're going to get into inside of chilleracademy.com. So if you would like to be able to go in there and get access to the community, ask these kind of questions, and also uh, just 
get this level of training. You know, this type of conversation is exactly the conversations that I'm going through. And this is the stuff that I'm explaining inside of the academy. And this is what I can help you with. If you're struggling to understand this, then let me come alongside you. Let me play my part and help you get past some of these struggles. Either way, with that, MTT, make the time for your family, for your spouse, and for your kids. I'll see you all around.